Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you a router ball from Wallis, the DR4029. It is based on the IPQ4029 Qualcomm SOC. It has 512MB of RAM and 128MB of NAV flash. The ball has 2 gigabit Ethernet ports. It also has a SFP port for fiber cable. We also have a USB 3.0 port and a power connector. On this side, we have the SIM card slot and a micro SD card slot. These are the MMCX connectors for 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi. At the back, we have another SIM card slot. We also have two mini PCIe connectors. Actually, it's only the left side is mini PCIe connectors used for wireless module, while the one on the right side is a USB 2.0 in the mini PCIe connector form, and this will be used for the 3G or LTE module. You can set it up as a wireless asset point. For example, you can plug this wireless network adapter to it and have a long range IP thanks to the powerful DR90VX 2 band wireless module from Wallis or you can set it up at a 3G 4G router we can install this 3G module from Syria and use the cellular data at a main one connection or as a failover for the USB 3.0 port we can add another Ethernet port to the router with a USB to Ethernet converter this is the DUB1312 from d -Links. I have tested and can confirm that the module works well with OpenWRT. Or else, we can connect our phone to the router with a USB Type-C cable and use it as a USB tethering. That would be too long for the introduction. Let's powering on the board, connecting the network cable and have a check on the shortware. Firstly, connect the power supply to it. It should be 24 volt DC. You can power the ball with 24 to 48 volts via the DC jacks or a passive PoE. And then connect the LAN cable to the ball. And lastly, the one cable. Just a recap. This is the power supply port, the LAN port and the one port. Let's go to the computer and have fun there. Alright guys, so we're back to the computer and let's navigate to 192.168.1.1 to accept the router's management interface. Alright, so we have right here OpenWRT and it is one of the old version of OpenWRT, perhaps child cameras, right? So let's just log in. The default username is root and the password is ASDF1234, right? Don't update, right? So we are inside the routers and as you can see from here, the model is Qualcomm technology, INCs and right, the kernel version is 3.14.77. You may ask me what day is this, why we still have this 15.05.1 OpenRT running on an IPQ. 4029 SOC. Uh, this is actually because the QCA QSDK took this version 15.05.1 at a base for the development. So most of the router ball from Wallis or Convex or all the model also running this kind of version 15.05. But don't worry, we will update it in the future time. So let's take a look and see what do we have. We have 512 megabyte of RAM, right? So the network, the one stated it up and running on the head CP mode, right? That good. And we have two wireless controllers, Wi-Fi 0 and Wi-Fi 1. And one is 2.4 gigahertz and one is 5 gigahertz, right? So this is an overview and let navigate to root, right? So just a normal one and line routing, kernel log real-time rough even though this is an old version of OpenWRT but we still have some of the basics information so let me just run a speed test right let's take a look at the traffic it should be Ethernet 1 
right? We see that this thing really work. Uh, we have a uh, traffic passing by the router and everything has been reflect correctly on the real time traffic monitoring. Right, so at here you can change your host name. Maybe I will put it D4029 and I can change the time zone to something else different. So maybe Kuala Lumpur, where is this? right and the time the ntp server just save and apply right look good and here you can add some customization to login and language right never mind so let's go to administration on here you can change your passwords and edit has access which is our normal configurations on the service what do we have nothing so on the service section, you have the dynamic DNS where you can update your one IP address to your dynamic domain. Let's try to edit one of the configuration. We can see that there are a lot of DNS service provider back to the good old day. Maybe at this time, the free dynamic domain is still popular, right? So we have a lot of them. So you can, okay, we have no IP, right? Look good. Let's back to network and here you can see the status of your interfaces, your LAN interface and your WAN interface and let's try to add a new interface. Right, so here we can still specify the name of the interface and we have a lot of protocols supported by this router. So we have DHCP client unmanaged, two stacks lined. IPv6, PPP, PPPoE, and L2TP. And there's a lot of interfaces as well. On the Wi Fi section, you can have an overview of your wireless configuration. We have two Wi Fi stations running the ATH Link 0 and ATH Link 1. And by default, if you have a fresh installation of OpenWRT, the wireless is disabled by default. but on this version, it will enable and without encryption. So let's go and edit some of the configurations. I will give it a password right here. So it will be WP8 PSK and let me fill in the password. Right, and on the traffic powers, I will give it the maximum power. Well, it can go up to 27 dBm but I will go with 20 dBm because this is enough for me, right? So hit save and apply. All right, it will take a little bit time. So just be patient, configuration apply. And let me just use my phone to connect to it. Right, so I have just connected one of my phone to the Wi-Fi ATS Link 0 and we can see some of the update right here. And because I haven't connected the external antenna to this router board, that's why the Wi-Fi signal, the RX and the TX ray is not really good. On the switch section, we have some of the port, but actually this router have only two port, one LAN port and one one port, so we don't need the switch uh, interface anymore all right so that's all about the basic thing about this open wrt 15.05 uh, on the dr4029 router board and in the next videos i will show you how to update this router board to the new uh, open wrt version which is version 19.7 and i would like to take this chance to say thanks to wally for providing me this router board the dr4029 and is it really a ray router board to work with? And I would like to take this chance to thank Wally for providing me this router board, the DR4029. It is really an amazing router board that had a SPF fiber port and the mini PCA connectors for wireless module and the LTE and 3G modules as well. 
So I think it would be a great ball to play around with OpenWRTs and all the embedded software. So once again, thanks so much for this router ball. And that's all about this video. So if you see it's useful, please like, share, subscribe and support the channel. If you have any questions or idea, feel free to leave it in the comment section and I will try my best to check all of them. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.